Hello everyone, now let's talk about CAPTCHA testing. So if you don't know what are CAPTCHAs, so CAPTCHAs is a technique in order to distinguish the users from the human or bot, which means it CAPTCHAs are used on a web application in order to distinguish whether the user that is assessing that web application is human or a bot. So CAPTCHAs are also used to secure the website from CSRF attack, but if you use CAPTCHAs in order to protect CSRF, then it's not a recommended measure because the CAPTCHAs can be easily bypassed. It's no matter that how hard the CAPTCHAs has been developed. Now let's see how we can test some CAPTCHAs in order to bypass that CAPTCHAs. Now let's do some CAPTCHA testing on web 4 pentester 2 and you can download the ISO file of web 4 pentester 2 by clicking over here and here is that link so it's the later it's the latest version of web 4 pen tester so i have already downloaded this iso file and you can see on my desktop so let's create a virtual machine in virtual box for the web 4 pen tester 2 and here you can see that i have the previous version of web 4 pen tester but it's a new one so let me create a new virtual machine so web 4 pen tester 2 click on next and click on create so click on settings so depending upon your network configuration you can change your network settings so for me I want to change and put it on the bridge adapter click on ok and let's start this machine so when the first time this machine will start up, it will ask us for the location of the ISO file. So let me give the location of the ISO file. It's on my desktop. So here you can see that right now we are inside the shell of web 4 pen tester. Now let's check its IP address. So its IP address is 192.168.0.141. So let's open this IP address. So here you can see that the web 4 pen tester 2 contains lot of additional challenges like mass assi assignment, authorization, MongoDB injection and here you will find a list of challenges inside the CAPTCHA section. So let's open the first example. So here you will find a CAPTCHA along with its field. So the main reason for implementing CAPTCHA is to protect the website from CSERF but in order to protect the CSERF attack the CAPTCHA is not recommended and nowadays the CAPTCHA is used for to differentiate between the bots and the human beings. So by doing CAPTCHA testing our main motive is that whether we can bypass this CAPTCHA otherwise we can fill it and pass it. Now for the time being if I just pass it any random string and I'll click on submit query now let's see what happens you'll see nothing and the captcha value has been changed now if I go back here to the its page source and if I scroll down you will find that here is the image captcha image that's coming from and here you will see the input tag where we'll add our text and here is the input button now let's analyze this request through burp suite. So in this video I will cover 
two example of captcha testing and let us configure the browser proxy settings Okay, and here you can see that my burp suite is up and running. Now, let's add any random query and click on submit. And here you will see our request under the proxy tab. So it's a get request. And here you can see captcha example one submit. And it's accepting its two parameter. The first one is captcha and its value which we have just passed. Here you can see hello. And then submit and here you can see the host details along with the user agents and cookie detail now if we just click on forward and forward the request we will see nothing now let's try to bypass this captcha and let's see what kind of response we got from the server now i'm just leaving it as an empty so let's just click over here submit query and here you can see the same request now what I'm going to do here is I'm removing this additional captcha parameter here you can see let me remove this and so now there is only one parameter that submit and now the point to be noticed is that we haven't given any kind of captcha here okay and here you can see that we are successfully able to bypass the captcha and here is a success message so due to the poorly configured captchas the captchas can be easily bypassed if there is a no validation checks occur now let's have a look at captcha example 2 okay so here you can see the same challenge the same capture challenge let's try to fill any random query and let's see what happens so this challenge is very interesting so here you can see the request of this challenge and example 2 so now it's taking actually three parameters the first one is capture in which we have given the our input that's hello and another one that's answer here you can see the answer now if I just click on submit and let me forward this request and we will see nothing so in the most of the cases what happen is the captchas actually comes from the image source now if we just look at its page source of this challenge we'll come to know that by implementing this captcha the web developer have actually hard coded the value of captcha in the page source so if, if we just look at the page source and scroll down here you will see the captcha image and here is the hidden input field here you can see input type is hidden and its value is this which means the value of this captcha is hard coded already inside the source code so if this is hard coded inside the source code or if it is already present inside the source code then what's the need of implementing the captcha so it's another a wrong application logic which might lead to bypass this captcha so it's again a wrong application logic now we can also do one thing let's now we came to know that this value is actually present inside a hidden input field now let's go here and let's go to form and display form details and if we display form details so here you can see that the hidden input field is displayed here in front of us let's copy this input field and let's paste it here now click on submit query and let's see what happens so our request goes to the bob suite okay click on forward let's just go back 
and let's just remove this and here you can see we are successfully able to crack this challenge so there are different different captchas implementation and their weaknesses which we will cover in the separate video series so but for the time being we have discussed that what's a captcha testing what's the use of captcha and how we can find the missed security configurations in captcha thanks for watching this video